Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> He was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return, I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle? You sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. 
Okay then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. 
So you knew all along. I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Jair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? Let's try this again, without interruptions. Look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. It's a pleasure. Now fuck right right along.
Anything could get through all that hell, Bram. Here we go again. You Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do. And they were on the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. The god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars, rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So 
So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim down. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this black room head? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! <sighs> Naturally. I think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of open, though. So what now? Brother, up there! <laughs> the winds of hell! The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to hell I to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. And I picked up a new chance. in rock. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, uh, thanks to Odin, with good reason.
glad some friendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. Go. forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 